Hey what's up YouTubers, today I'm going to be showing you guys what to do if your computer won't even attempt to connect to a network. If you go down here to your system tray, which is in your bottom right uh, portion of your computer right here next to the clock, if you go next to the volume knob you'll see a, uh, a red X. This is where you'll connect to, the net uh, to networks usually. Uh, you'll note that it says no connections are available. If you try to refresh this, uh, you're going to see no results. Nothing's going to happen. It won't show you any uh, networks that you can connect to. So from here, you want to open the Network and Sharing Center. You'll get this window that pops up with various different controls that will usually help you connect to the Internet. Now, I've tried each and every one of these, and while you're experiencing this error, none of these will help. Uh, if you select this one, you'll you'll have the option to either connect wirelessly or through ethernet or through dial up and uh... you'll still get the same uh... error message that there's no connections available and if you try to troubleshoot which actually does help sometimes um, you'll note that you have to be connected to a network to be able to run the troubleshooter you have to be able to connect to the internet to run the troubleshooter because uh, it has it needs wireless capabilities to be able to run and connect to a Microsoft server and you know basically decide what could be causing the problem. So if the internet isn't working already, this is not going to be a useful option either. So from here, uh, you're going to want to go to change adapter settings. And these this is the hardware that will search for wireless signals on your computer this is what will search for your wireless signal and this is what will search for your ethernet signal whenever you plug a cable to uh, into your computer this is what picks it up and helps you connect to the internet through that whenever you uh, want to connect to a wireless network your uh, your wireless card will help you do that now you'll note that both of these are grayed out and they say that they are disabled um, obviously from here hopefully you can tell this is the culprit and this is why you can't connect to anything because both pieces of hardware that usually help you connect to the internet are disabled without them you can't connect to the internet you can't even have the option to view wireless networks because they're not searching for any so the simple fix here to right click and then just click enable on each uh, on both of these because even if you don't run ethernet uh, even if you don't have an ethernet cord anymore and you only use wireless network connection it might still be useful to have this re-enabled just because you know if you ever run into this issue again maybe you forgot that you never uh, re-enabled this one and I think this error kind of happens at complete random I shut down my computer properly I didn't take out my battery or rip the charger out or anything and you know cause it to go into safe mode or anything I shut it down properly and when next time I uh, Next time I power it up, both of my uh, both of the pieces of hardware that search for uh, wireless and Ethernet signals were shut off, like they are, like they were right now in the video. So I guess sometimes it can happen at complete random, but this is not going to be a problem for you because now you guys know how to fix it. I hope you guys have found this video useful, and thanks for watching.